Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in signals and systems. In this lecture, we'll consider the third property of DTFS, which is nothing but the frequency shift. In the previous two video lectures, we considered the linearity property and time shift property. So now we shall consider the frequency shift property. So again, we shall make uh, first the statement of the frequency shift, then we shall consider the proof for the same. Statement goes something like this: If the given discrete time signal x of n, x of n is the discrete time signal, leads to so I would write if x of n leads to x of k, x of n leads to x of k by taking the DTFS, wherein x of n is the discrete time signal and x of k is the frequency coefficient of the given signal x of n. Then, then I would consider another new signal g of n which is equal to e to the power j k naught omega naught n into x of n leads to what? So that I need to consider. This leads to by taking the DTFS of this leads to I would write x of k minus k naught. So this is the statement of frequency shift property. So once we make this statement, then now I can consider the proof for the same. So let me write proof. So now we shall consider uh, the proof for uh, uh, frequency shift property. So now I write, we know that the expression for DTFS, I would write g of k is equal to, so this is equal to 1 over n summation n over the range capital N g of n e to the power uh, we have minus j k omega naught n. So this is the expression for DDFS. So now I would consider this expression and in this I will substitute for the g of n. So we know what is g of n equal to. So therefore I would get 1 over n summation small n this is over the range capital N g of n which is equal to e to the power j k naught omega naught n into x of n. So now this gets multiplied with the exponential term which is equal to e to the power minus j k omega naught n. So what could be the next step? You can now guess the next step. Next step in the sense, I would write x of n as it is and I have got two exponential terms and I can combine them and I can write one exponential term. So that will be my next step. So I would write 1 over n summation. I would write n. So this is over the range capital N. I would write x of n first. Then I have e to the power. So what are the common terms? I have j omega naught n as the common term. So I would write e to the power, I would take e to the power minus j and omega naught n out. So what I am left with? I am left with k minus k naught. Correct? So this is the expression that I would get now. So what is this equal to? So compare this expression with this expression. In terms of g of, in, in place of g of n, now I have x of n. So ultimately this is the expression led to g of k. So now I might be getting the expression in terms of capital X of something. Correct? So that will check. So uh, in place of g of n I have x of n. In place of e to the power minus j k omega naught n. What I have now? I have e to the power minus j omega naught n. Everything is in place. Only thing in place of k I have k minus k naught. So this expression must be capital X of k minus k naught. Are you getting it? Earlier it was g of k. So now uh, in place of g of n, I have x of n. It must be capital X of something. What is that? Here it is k. Hence I would get g of k. In place of k, I have now k minus k naught. Hence this expression must be x of k minus k naught. So this is a simple proof. Uh, finally I would write hence, hence the proof. 
So as I said, this is one of the uh, very simplest uh, proofs. But the only thing is, we must understand each and every step, and uh, uh, we should be able to remember this statement. And based on that, we can derive the expression uh, derivation for uh, frequency shift property. I've explained this uh, step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel, NG Classes, for more videos in signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.